Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this July 18th, 4.33 a.m. Central Time. And it feels nice outside this morning. Much better. Lower dew points after that cold front made its way through the area yesterday. Did touch off, as expected, a few isolated showers as it moved into Tennessee. So now we get the benefit from a couple of days of nice weather, but I've got something to tell you about Friday and maybe early Saturday that you'll want to pay attention to, so hang on. This should take only about four or five minutes to go through this process here. (laughs) If you're a first-time listener, welcome. 94 was the official high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green at the uh, regional airport. That happened around 2.30 yesterday, and that was 4 degrees warmer than the average of 90. 73 was our low temperature. That was 5 degrees warmer than the average of 68. One year ago, we had a high of 90 and a low of 66 back in 2017. No rainfall officially at the Bowling Green Airport yesterday, but some of you did pick up some showers So we're at 1.09 for the month of July, and we're running behind for July by an inch and a third plus. Not bad. There's more rain coming, so I'm not too concerned about it. But for today, high pressure behind the front, sunny, less humid, 87, northeast wind at 7. Tonight, clear, comfortable, 62. There may be a few locations in the upper 50s by tomorrow morning, especially in central and eastern Kentucky. Thursday, another good day, a little bit warmer, sunshine and 89. Now, here comes Friday. As I mentioned, we've got a system that's uh, going to move out of the plains, and there may be a setup here for what's called a mesoscale convective system. And that's just a fancy term for a big, huge area of rain and wind and storms and the possibility of a few severe thunderstorms as we get into especially late Friday, Friday night and into Saturday morning. The timing of all this is still in question, but the models are giving us an indication that we could see some quite stormy weather as we get into Friday night, especially and early Saturday morning. So we're already on top of it, already, you know, looking at the possibilities of what can happen. There will be severe weather ongoing in parts of the plains for the next couple of days, and that will be headed our direction. So we're going to go with 90 for a high on Friday. We'll start out okay, but then there will be a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms And then that possible complex of thunderstorms with uh, hail, maybe a possibility, damaging wind, a possibility, heavy rain, also a possibility. Can't even rule out the possibility of a tornado. We'll just have to uh, keep an eye on this. As we get into Friday night, Saturday, uh, 60% chance of that happening. Saturday's high, 87 So that cold front moves through, but behind it, there will be another spoke in the wheel, so to speak, rotating around that upper low, a piece of energy uh, boundary will come through Sunday with a 20% chance of showers in 84. Then Monday and Tuesday of next week look pretty good, mostly sunny both days and mostly in the mid to upper 80s. But Friday into Saturday is what we'll have to really keep an eye on here and we will and we'll let you know more as we learn more especially by tomorrow so you can prep for that in the meantime know the weather before it knows you have a great day i'll see you live at 5 on a.m kentucky 11 a.m on midday and we stream it live to the wbko website wbko.com and the wbko app Also, we have news and weather briefings on our Alexa devices that's available to your Alexa device, actually. And uh, also, check out our new weather-only app at Google.
Google Play and the App Store. Later today, if you get a chance, tune in to my radio show. It's a classic hit, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m. and online anytime, anywhere around the world at BowlingGreenSam.com.